Good evening, welcome to another exciting episode of the Men's Lounge. Knowing that it's a Thursday, definitely we're going to come your way. And especially when you, you realize that time check, it's 9 o'clock. So definitely we're going to come here. Uh, so uh, we want to say a very big thank you for staying with us uh, and waiting for, for, for us to come your way with our discussion. So um, today from the start, feel free and start joining us already because we have a very exciting topic. And I'm going to tell you the topic even, I, even before I go on my very first break, okay? So... Start sending us your messages on WhatsApp 020 I repeat, 020 One very important thing is that today I'm giving some prizes to even those who will be texting, okay? Not only the callers. The callers will have their share of the prizes, but I'm going to give some prizes to those who text, especially those regular people who have been texting. Also on other social media platforms, on Facebook, on Instagram, and Twitter, at ETV Ghana. I repeat, at ETV Ghana. In the last segment, I will open the phone lines, and then we can make the phones, uh, the calls start coming through. So, it's time for the men's lounge. I'm going to introduce my guests after this very break, so stay with us. I'll be back. All right, so welcome back after uh, the very first break. And so definitely you know that we are going to go straight into our discussion. So with me in the studio today, I have Reverend Jerry Penu. Uh, he, he usually comes through the lounge. And so uh, I think he's beginning to enjoy the lounge already. And so that's why he's here today. Um, Jerry, yes, sir. Akwaba. Yeah, yeah. You know, COVID is still around. And so yeah. we still don't, but we do there. Or from afar, we can do something <laughs> like that. You know what I mean. And so, uh, not Jerry alone. I'm also here with Skofri Nana Yao Yeboa. Skofri. Yeah. I say. Adam. That's a young watch, is it? If you had yeah, yeah, yeah. I just see you know, pay by the bar, next to some brand. Yeah. Now can I buy a bumo? So we done this so far, make sure. Anyway, so I'm here with I'm here with Skofri and then Jerry, and of course, yours truly, Nana Yao Dami. I am your host. Today we are discussing uh, the essentials to having a healthy relationship. The essentials to having a healthy relationship. So two weeks ago was a chocolate day. People were sharing love. I still haven't received my gifts. We told you the things we want. Up to end there. It's okay, I'm <laughs> keeping my fingers crossed. But uh, so it was chocolate day, what people we know to be Val's day, but in Ghana it's chocolate day. And then last week we spoke about uh, some, you know, hitches that may have happened after the vows day and in Sema and uh, today we are looking at the essentials of or essentials to having a healthy relationship. And to do justice, I have these two gentlemen, Reverend and then Skofri. Guys, welcome once again. Thank you. So I, I have a little concern, mm -hmm. okay, and uh, I believe it's a, it's, it's a general concern even to the country and everybody else. Uh, COVID. I, I, I'm still not happy about the numbers, even though I feel this week has been a bit, you know, stable. Unlike the, the last three weeks mm. coming through, last two weeks, and then last week. But this week has been a bit, oh, uh, just a bit okay. But I still think uh, it's taking the people away. The numbers are indeed becoming people we know. What do we do as people? I mean, you and I, apart from still talking about it. What, should we yam famba and start whipping people <laughs> or what? <laughs> I, Jerry, I, I don't know. Should we start whipping people? No, I, I, I think that we just have to keep encouraging people, uh, public education. Well, we've, been do we've been doing that for we a year now. Since February, we are we already in March, and we 2020, and we, we are still doing it. doing it. We keep talking. We just have to keep talking. We should have some canes, you know. Yeah, yeah. Soak a cane in some kerosene and start flipping people around. At this point of our, at this point of our development, um, canes won't, won't sort it out. Mm. Um, sometimes we, I have not been happy about the kind of education we have we have had. Even from last year January, I was part of the few people who started trumpeting about COVID. COVID, yeah. We were monitoring mm. the year before 2019, the November, December, what was happening. Mm. Some of us screamed for a well-integrated mm -hmm. educational campaign. So it, because it was more or less in greater Accra, and in, in this part of Accra, we took it lightly. Until when the lockdown came, it shifted to Eastern region before I realized it's in Volta, if Omasi and Ashanti, Ashanti and greater Accra were, we're competing. competing yeah. Exactly. Now, if you check what we have now, it is all the 16 regions. That should tell you that um, the way we would have done, you remember the days when HIV came afresh? And yeah. Was, uh, yeah, they are him for no, everybody was playing a key role. Yeah. 
they were able to fight it to, to, mm. to the latter. Mm. We, mm. we do, don't see the same thing now. Mm. Mm. So it is that part of the campaign, because we'll be on the ferry for MP, if you look at somebody, look at all videos that came out of COVID center, it was Pamabako's video that trended. Yeah. Why? Yeah, you are, because yeah. of how he, t how he turns between the people mm. and, and what was happening. We could have, we bought into it more than even what our big men and co were saying. You're so maybe right. it's education. Mm. And I mm. agree with my brother, education, education, education. Mm. So, so there's no different people into, so into be space. <laughs> into we the right place. Place. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, I mean, the truth is, I can't wait for this thing to go. Look at me wearing this thing. Eh? I'm sure I look like some parrot or some <laughs> other <laughs> kind of <laughs> bird. Eh? Look at Reverend, fine gentleman, <laughs> looking like a ninja. And then Scott, I don't even want to talk about. I mean, how? <laughs> we can't wait for this thing to go, but how do we make it go? We just have to abide or follow the protocols, okay? Mm. Let's all obey. Let's all try to wear the mask, keep, keep our distance, wash our hands regularly, and do all the things that we need to do. Boost our immune system. It's also very, very important, guys. It's, it's, I, I want to see you all the time. I want to mm. come sit here and talk True. to you guys all the time. I don't want to lose any of you. I've lost enough. True. I want everybody else to stay. And now, uh, Jeffrey, yeah. uh, I know the, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah that, that's basically enough. what it is. Anyway, so talking about essentials to a healthy relationship, um, with a little research, I, 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 I kind of know that there's communication, there's respect, there's uh, boundaries, trust, support, and one most important factor, the God factor. <laughs> it's, it's one thing that we cannot run away from. But with me, I'm going to break down these things so that uh, we exactly know what the details are. I think it would be good to start from communication. It's, it's, it's almost become like what anybody and everybody talks about. Oh, for any relationship to be okay, there should be communication. But what exactly is this communication in the relationship? Eddie, what is it? What is it? Well, um, I, I, communication is very vital. Mm. Um, we are, we are, relational beings mm -hmm. and the foundation to which humans grew stronger in communal will of yeah. even when human had not evolved language to we still found we still had a way of um, communicating mm -hmm. that is that is why um, if you want to really, really understand somebody, check the nonverbals, which we call the body language. Mm. It, is, it is the foremost language every human being speaks before the vocals. Before the vocals. In. So um, communication is critical in any form of relationship. If you want even your dog to, to accord you as the owner, mm -hmm. you exercise a certain level of communication. Yeah. Okay, if you want your cat, even pets, enjoys that relational communication how mm. much more human, human beings, beings that uh, we are able to think through things share feelings and make conclusions here and there well but mostly when it comes to matters of relationship I'll, i always want to start from a certain point before communication and go comes in from practice and experience as a coach all these years what i have identified is that the foundation to most successful relationship that even eats into marriage. What we don't do is that most of us don't discover who we are or even decide to troubleshoot with the individuals before we take a step to want to go into relationship. Mm. So if you check most often than not, it is within the relationship that we tend to discover our individuality. Okay. And if you had done, maybe after university or maybe second, third year university, you start thinking through, if you say, Jerry, who am I? Mm -hmm. If I say, Scoffrey, who am I? Where am I even going? Because most of them are not, because we lack what we call the why, because it's out of the why we're able to deduce even the purpose for which we are on this earth. Okay. So, for instance, if I look at how I settled on a wife, it was because I had done the thorough work on who I am, where I am from, 
and where I'm going and why I'm doing even what I'm doing here into coaching. So that I will look for somebody who, one, will complement where I have flaws, where I have weakness. Then I'll look for someone who can see through the where I'm going. When I tell you this is how far I want to go, you can see that indeed that is how far he wants to go. Then thirdly, someone who can support me to go the farthest I want to go. For instance, it's not every woman in the ideal sense who allowed their husbands to come and sit on the show at 9 p.m. when it has rained. As, <laughs> but, for, but for women or wives who saw that these gentlemen, yeah. they I have a client one time, the client had a contract in Kumasi. Mm -hmm. And they have a, a young baby. I think they've sorted everything out. By the time he got to Bunsu, the wife said, Once she knew, said the man was going for a business meeting, something that would bring money, the guy had to drive, cancel the appointment, and drive back from Bunsu to Accra because he knew what the wife can do. And you would say it's because he didn't spend the time exactly. to evaluate himself if before he, even If he had done that self-evaluation, I'm not saying, according to Johari's window, you can't even know yourself absolutely. Mm. It's, it's not true. Mm. The part where you know about me, that I don't know. The part where you and I will know about me, that I know. The part that I know about me, that you also don't know. And the part where either of us don't, don't know about know. me, that is what I keep exploring more. As, as I age. But if you have that fundamental right, I'm telling you, a lot have gone into relationships, marriages, and the reason why the communication is not working or won't work between the two of you is because you don't even have a chemistry. So let me give one typical example. You were born in Choco. Uh -huh. mm? She is born in Trasaco Valley. Okay. You only met in Legon. There is, a fundam there is an environmental fundamentals that you have not worked on. I, I, I was a typical village boy. It was in a friend's house I learned how to use cutlery. So if I had met a woman whose house they are proper and prim, even to university, if I have not done thorough analysis of who I am, where I'm coming from, Charlie, baby, we need to use cutlery. We just watch them. Because you know your deficiencies and the things you need to learn to be abreast with life, to catch up, to polish up. But these things, let not say what thing can because we're human beings. We Charlie, you see the bottles, no kai. You gonna name to na kai. Forget cutlery. Ah, no for na she she na. Then hey, now we just say we three boom. We no no for one two three yeah. Hmm. I feel no better. I will say we free go via cafe. I no free she she. Maybe I will free no. Where they are coming from? Perhaps you. When your mother uh, 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 grind pepper and um, how do you call it okra, you go take chop the the, the cocktail like that. From where she's coming from, I was there must be small meat kakra, we kakra, we kakra. So you answer sour and your <laughs> and your if I say cocktail in your it doesn't match. So I always appeal that even if you are in it already, the two of you might have identified various things. Have an honest discussion. I have lived with you for two years. What is it that you think you have discovered about me that I might not even know? Share with me. That is where the need of the communication comes in. So you, so you, so you then say that is actually where it will probably kick in, like start from. Yes. So far is here. The number of people who burden them with marriage challenges, it starts from sometimes six months, but if you had three months, some one month. Scoffy, hold on. Jerry? Yes. <laughs> and okay. Is it true? Oh, it is true. It is true. Um, but um, you cannot discover yourself uh. until you know God. Hmm. God okay. is your source. God is your source. And from my experience, I think sir, most of the time, you know, uh, the problem has to do with the foundation. Bible see if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Mm. And so, yes, I agree with Scoffrey 100%. Mm. But I think that before you jump to even thinking about discovering yourself, you must know God. 
the God factor. The you God mentioned factor, that. yeah. That is the first thing. Mm. Look, you have no business going into a relationship if you have no relationship with your maker. Because, you see, your relationship with God helps you to be able to relate with others well. And so Bible says that love, it, it says that thou shalt love the Lord thy God. That is the first commandment. The second is like it. Love thy neighbor as yourself. Mm. And so, before you can love somebody, you must learn to love God. And so, I will talk about the God factor. Okay. Mm. Get to know God. Mm. Relate with him. Serve him. As you do that, he rubs himself on you. And so you will be able to treat others well. Most of the time, people are not able to treat their partners well because they lack this God factor bit. There are even Christians who don't fear God. They go so to church. On. You're a Christian and you don't fear God? Oh, yes. So oh, yes. Where, where lies the Christianity? Oh, yes. I mean... That, that would be uh, a different discussion. Yes, it's all <laughs> over. They, they, they go to church, they do all the religious stuff, mm -hmm. but the fear of God is not there. Mm. You know, so... I will talk about the God factor. Get to know God. As you know God, he will begin to reveal you to you. Because he's the creator of all things. Yeah. He made you. <clears throat> if you don't know him, you will not be revealed to yourself. Okay. So, so then that is the start point of trying the to know who you The starting point are. is knowing... Trying the starting to be, point to knowing yourself knowing is yourself. first knowing God. And so do we all then, are we agreeing that knowing yourself is where it is critical. you start to at least know how you're going to start? Yes, it is thing. critical because if you don't know yourself, mm. then you are likely to frustrate somebody in a relationship. Y y you understand? So y you have to understand yourself, know who you are, know your temperament. I mean, all these things, you should come into terms with them before mm. even thinking about going into a relationship. Interesting. So then, mm. it, it would even be wrong in the first place to even want to talk about the distance between partners, because then it, it, w it won't then matter if no. these fundamentals have been really met. It, it research has proven it's, it's research has proven that um, Socrates say know thyself, and if it's because of what he said, I also want to quote. Small. <laughs> I'll quote. You, you remember also. Jesus asked the disciples, "Who do people say I am?" Yeah. Okay. When they answered that which people say Jesus was, he asked them, you too, who do you say? Whom do you say I am? So imagine Christ the Messiah did not know who he was. His identity, his nomenclature and everything. On the cross, he shouted, though, he said, if this be, let this cup pass me. Because that moment he was exercising the humanity, yeah. the human, the beingness where he could feel pain and everything. But because he had that understanding of who he is, he could hold to the end of, 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 of the glory he was expecting. Mm. So it mm. is very fundamental. That is why um, some of us, we, we encourage that it is a feeling, it is a moment, it is a belonging and everything. But it, it, it's so magical when you have worked upon yourself. I'm a sanguine with um, a, a secondary of choleric. choleric. So, and some of the challenges of who we are, I understood it. I, 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 I needed to look for somebody who can be a balance. If you, have, if you are going for a lady or a guy in their home, they don't give gifts. Not that they don't really give, they've been putting the honor of their chair. And the act of learning gifting is when you also exchange. Yeah. I'm going to find check. In 20 minutes, you're finally giving. So if you marry a woman or a man who in whose homes you're near the need to be check, yes, yes, yeah. You sometimes call it a hoarding mentality. Oh, here, they want to hoard. <laughs> mm? So if you're not able to do some of this troubleshooting and everything, where well, I keep saying that when you know who you are, even your relationship with God gets better. Because that is where you can surrender that weakness I'm talking about, even to the Spirit of God that I mean, we decided here. Yeah, can you help me? That is why if you look at all the great prophets, they had to, because they knew, Gideon to go ahead and write a power Me. Me, you're who for number one. Maybe you're crying. 
if you if Gideon did not have an awareness of who he was, who he was. Jeremiah did the same thing. He said, no, 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 I'm young. Moses said, I don't know how to talk. Moses, yeah. So if you don't even have insight of who you are, you cannot submit your weakness to even to God for him to work on you. So that Obiba Martin will be your journey. But if she too does not also have insight, listen, there are some women who don't even know that the reason why they have menstrual period has a direct impact on their on their on their being, their physiology. They think that the period where the period where they ovulate, the period that the period goes through and after. If you analyze them, they change three times. Some don't even know those three times faces. Um, pay attention here. Scorpio, I'm going to hold you on this one. <laughs> Let's go on a break. We'll be back shortly. Please stay with us. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we are still discussing the essentials uh, to having a healthy relationship. And I'm here with uh, Scofri and then uh, Jerry Penu, Reverend Jerry Penu. I like his name, Penu. I think today I'll be asking him what the Penu means. <laughs> <laughs> he will tell me what the Penu Because, you know, if you're not careful, you might think it's Pano, you know. Yeah, yeah, if you're not careful, you, might, you might say Pano, but yeah. it's Penu, you know. Yeah, yeah, cool, super Pano, Penu. I decided to it. <laughs> Hail to all of you. Anyway, um, I did say from the start that I'll be giving out some gifts. And so my regular people who have been texting, let your text messages start coming through. Because I've got my gift already anyway. And it's coming from uh, Jerry. Jerry has some beautiful books for us that we can read and get a lot of information out of them. So let's come back to our discussion. So let me find out this. Sometimes it plays on our minds, okay, especially as men. You know, men, we have a certain ego. And um, of course, finding ourselves, I think it's the ego also that comes to play. Yeah. That doesn't even make us find ourselves really well, yeah. unless, unless we are able to sit on our ego and say, Jack, relax, let me be able to you know, su su submit or succumb to what I need to do. But let me, I, I just need, using that to find out something here. So sometimes in communication, when it comes to relationships, are there some things that we cannot communicate? Well, um, it's, not as, it's not really about are there some things that we can... I mean, are there things that are difficult to communicate? Yes, there are things. Mm. There, there are things, our, especially our past. Especially our past. Then, for instance, um, by trade or by what I do mm -hmm. as a transformational coach, mm -hmm. my wife and I know that whatever that transpires myself and a client... It's no go zone discussion in our marriage, in our home. It's an ethical boundary. Okay. So we those those issues don't come up at all. So that's such such a matter you can discuss. What about what about partners who are or should you set the boundaries? Should you set the limits? So I'm just, so I'm just giving an example. This is this is a professional boundary. Mm. This is an ethical boundary. Such such a thing you can't discuss. Okay, then also um, ideally it is the past or mostly what I I keep encouraging that don't discuss second and third party issues. Set those little boundaries. How, how do you mean by second okay. and third party issues? Um, Jerry and I have tete a tete here and there. I need I have a need. He's supporting me here and there. The worst case I would say is that oh I have a friend who needs prayer support of this nature. So if we are praying, but to come and sit down and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because this world evolves. One moment everything is fine, now the next moment things are turned around. Th and also the issue of the past. Mm -hmm. hmm. Not everybody can tolerate information in a certain way. Let me use guys and women. Women are the most powerful memories on earth. Computers are crammed. Computers are mad. They store. That is why they love storytelling. So, what you tell her today, no malice, nothing. It will shock you when it will be played back to you. But that is also when you have established strong relationships. 
integrity and trust, mutual respect, mm -hmm. understanding the boundaries in the marriage or in the relationship. For me, there are things I wouldn't want you to talk about when you are courting or you are dating. Because should anything go amiss, because there is not 100% um, trust that it will turn out in marriage. There are people who are so close to the altar and it's a few hours it stopped. Yeah. That moment, a lot of what she knows or he knew about you, he's carrying it. If you don't meet somebody who is God-fearing and has the memory of letting things go easily, this is where the blackmail sets in and stuff. So there are few, there are certain areas for me. No goal areas. Um, sometimes, oh, I want to know. I need to know. I have the right to know. I want to know. Yo, fifi, mm -hmm. so, so some of these things are, are, are dynamic. Okay, then I want to, if not, you are, you are hiding something from me. You get to know and realize that so even in professional world, there's something called need-to-know basis. So, there are some things that it takes time, because time heals a lot. So, sometimes the time, the context that you want to share that information. So, we are going to share that Oh, so you should know even the time in the right place. Know when he is bubbly, know when she is bubbly, where the information can sink. And every information carries certain attributes. Some are emotional, some are very hurting, some are exciting. Some are religious. So you should be able to know some of how to handle information handling, basically. That's what I can say. I see. Jerry, yeah, let yeah. me find... Okay, you want to comment on that yeah, one. Comment. But I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll ask that you add something else. Mm. So you, you finish let that comment. Let me just comment, comment on yes, this one, yes. briefly. Um, I normally talk about two things. Mm. Number one, yeah. you don't have the right to any information about your partner. Mm. You only get to know what he or she wants you to know. Reveals to you. And... That is what all of us must understand. You only get to know what I want you to know. Number two, I know tell people that as much as possible, try not to conceal very important information mm. from your partner. What do I mean by that? Any information that you know that should your, uh, your partner get to know might yeah. affect the relationship, find a way of communicating. Otherwise, even if it means ending the relationship, find a way of communicating. Even if it means ending, find it. a way of communicating. It is better for you to end the relationship now than for your partner to discover something later and then opt out. You understand? So, if it wouldn't have any negative effect on the relationship and you don't want to disclose, keep it. But what if, if what if what if there's a likelihood that it will have a negative effect, and so you decide not to disclose for how long? What for as, if for as long as what long. if your partner gets to know? Is it there is always that element of what if? You cannot be too sure. Hmm. You, you understand? So, as much as possible, what he has to know, or she has to know, please disclose. But Scarface says something. Mm -hmm. Timing and mood, very important. Timing and mood. But try, feel free. If, look, if the person is interested in you, no matter what you tell the person, the person will still stay. Bible says that a friend is born for adversity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do, do you understand? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, a good friend is the one who can say, look, in spite of all that I know about you, I still want to marry you. I still love you. I still want to flow with you. If the person says, oh, due to ABCD, uh, I can no longer flow, that person is not meant for you in the first place. Mm. So you might as well just move yeah, on. Yeah, just move on. So, so let, me, let me find out this. Oftentimes, when you begin to realize that your, 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 your partner is not communicating, what comes to mind? Well, for ladies, uh, 
maybe the first thing is either the person is not interested mm -hmm. or number two, uh, cheating. Mm -hmm. Cheating. Either the person is not interested, interested or, or, or the person is cheating. But for, for men, for guys. Well, uh, what I would want to add to the, let's see, let's generalize it. What I would want to add to what um, Osofu just said is that people have come from places. People have gone through things. Mm -hmm. If you encounter a lady who has been raped before, you will realize that she will have issues with trust. There are those that some of these circumstances impact them negatively that they lack the ability to communicate with people. So there are various dimensions and shapes that curtails communication. And we all don't communicate at the same flow or yeah, wavelength. Level, yeah. We all don't. Yeah. I'm a sanguine. I'm a train. Uh, 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 I'm, a, I'm a train to train. I'm a coach and all that. So flowing wouldn't be difficult for me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but that is why you need the insight of communication and the self-awareness I was talking about. Such that you'll be able to speak or flow in a manner that she, in, at the office she doesn't talk, he doesn't talk. But perhaps when she or she gets into the comfort zone yeah. where she can be vulnerable, she or he gets chatty. Mm. Because he or he, the two of them have lived together, they flew in jail. But at the office, he or she is reserved. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the dynamics too, why people are not able to flow. flow. In some homes, growing up, your mom couldn't even raise her head to talk to your father. And funny enough, what we see imprints on us more than what we hear. So if, if you never saw your mom and your dad flowing in a very powerful communication way, probability that you also have communication challenges is high. It's high. Mm. It, it comes <laughs> because it's under your subconscious. It's hidden there. Hmm. So it does not even trigger you to want to talk. Because you think that is a normal. Because it's a, norm, it, it's a normal. Let, 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 let's go back. Let, let's go to some of the messages. And there are actually questions that are coming. So this is a question. Uh, I have a question for both men. What are you supposed to do when you are in a relationship and you continuously tell your boyfriend numerous times that he's not communicating with you? In the term of you, the girl, sent a message and you don't hear from your partner till three days later? or till sometimes even a week, or he decides to travel and doesn't even tell you, but then tells you when he comes back, or falls sick and doesn't tell you, but you hear it from a third party. What do you do? This is coming from Ifia. Okay, um, I think that Ifia, um, for every relationship, okay, there are red flags. Mm. For every relationship. Um, I normally tell people that partners who don't communicate, do that for a few reasons and i have that in my book number one <coughs> it is either the person is genuinely occupied mm. sometimes let's give people the benefit of the doubt so it is either the person is genuinely occupied number two either the person is no longer interested in the relationship but is unable to communicate mm. then number three either the person is offended about something mm. so there are few reasons why people don't communicate now the danger is when somebody who used to communicate and then all of a sudden Stop. stops communicating that certainly means that there is a problem and it is either you get to find out what the problem is or you start preparing yourself <laughs> for a breakup mm. on that note i think uh, if i would then deserve one of <laughs> our gifts so if I, if you're watching i have a gift for you um, I'll find a way to let you have a contact so you can contact it and pick your gift. It's a book and it actually answers a lot of the questions that you have asked. It, it throws a lot more insight onto that for you. Now, there's something that triggers my, my thoughts. Mm. You know how people talk about, as for people who are quiet and they're selling, they're dangerous and all that. So nice. with, with such people, <laughs> how do you deal with people who, who sort of give a silent treatment to issues? L let, me, let me say this. Um, I recently, I did an article. I said uh, some recipes mm. for the wreckage of marriages and relationships. You can just Google it. It will pop up. 
And I enumerated, I think, over 30 red flags, as he mentioned, things that you should look out for. In our part of the world, or as a human nature, we stereotype a lot. Yeah. We, we carry our perceptions and assumptions mm -hmm. into spaces, and it affects a lot of relationships. We have varied personalities. Varied personalities. So, it's, it's even the same mentality, the same st stereotyping that we carry into tribes. I'm going to have what dear, what you say. I'm going to have dear. I'm going to have what dear. They are like that. I chew for my dear. They are like this. In front of four my dear. They are like that. It's the same stereotype. That quiet men are this. Short men have temper. <laughs> Tall men are this. I think the issue of the short men is true. It's stereotypical. Well, I, no, I, I mean, this is my I am saying this because yeah. from, from my background as a coach, there's something we call ontology. It is a state of being. It's the way we, we are. Yeah. So the more we keep enforcing even God, who, who knows everything, when mm -hmm. he wanted to create the world, he, he uttered things, and the uttering is what we call words. Yeah. So the more we enforce thoughts, the more they become. The more oh, it becomes. Yeah. That is why the more you keep telling your child, you are so yeah. you are stubborn, yeah. the more they become, they because become it's stubborn. confession, because it is that which forms them. So when you look, if you are to meet young, if you have to meet couples, young people, and they are talking about the stereotypes they have sometimes, especially on social media, I cringe myself not to comment because sometimes what I'm even going to say, they don't even understand. Yeah. <laughs> so when you say it, it cannot sink. Recently, I was talking to a lady about issues of sex. She recounted, and I took my time with my skill, with my knowledge and everything. Then I, I only say I educated her, but I shared with her. They started acknowledging line by line. Hey, this one, this one is for me. That one is for me. This one is for me. This one is for me. I know by now she and the husband, their sex life is, has gotten better because she has discovered some knowledge. So it's a stereotype. And that's what I'm telling you. Your husband or your, your wife could be a bipolar. You don't know. He or she himself too don't know. Could be a high sensitive person or personality. You don't know. Me too, I don't know. <laughs> because we don't take time to work on ourselves and yeah. we carry those perceptions. Trouble. Guys, let, let's, let's go for another break. When we are back, the phone lines will be open. I'll announce the phone, phone line. And then when we are back also, we will delve a little bit into the issue of respect and then creating boundaries, you know, in relationship. So please stay with us. We'll be back shortly. Welcome back. If you are just joining us, we are still in the men's lounge discussing essentials essentials that uh, lead to healthy relationships so we've dealt with uh, we've tried to define communication we, we we've talked a little bit about it but we are going to be looking at the issue of respect okay the issue of respect and also uh, the issue of boundaries so, so there are some relationships that there are there are some limits and boundaries we'll be discussing that but before i, I get there the phone lines are also open now and the number is zero five 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 six five seven two seven eight zero five 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 six five seven two seven eight so you can feel free and call and then let your text messages also start coming because there's a gift for you now this is coming from Emmanuel, and Emmanuel says a popular counselor intimated if communication is not frequent it means the woman is not interested anymore but i say false there could be other factors when a lady is trying to manipulate you to gain control they tend to use the silent radio approach as a tool school free and jerry how true is that well, that can't be. That can't be, eh? No. Well, this is also coming from uh, El Elkana Bijido. My name is Elkana Bijido. I'm enjoying your program. Please keep it up. God bless you all. All right, thank you. Uh, we hope you always enjoy. This is also coming from If Abraham had told Sarah of God's demand on Isaac, she would have prevented him from obeying God. Let us use this as a guide in communication. Think true, helpful, inspiring, necessary, kind. Think before you seek. Mm. Well, I guess that goes to buttress the point you started with. You need to think, know yourself before you seek. Uh, good work, brothers. I'm Frank from Takaradi. Please, is it advisable to explore more ladies in order to discover yourself? 
How do you? <laughs> anyway, I'll leave. Scoffy, I'll leave that for so, you. But so there's a caller we'll on the line. Hold on. Um, <laughs> good evening, caller. Your name and where you are calling from. Hello, caller. Your name and where you are calling from. All right. Uh, it, it seems that, that we, we, we lost the person. So please try and uh, call us back. So this is coming from um, Frank inside Sunya. And Frank said, my question is, I have, is I, I, have, I have a certain friend. When she asks me for a gift, I'm not able to deliver. Uh, she fought with me always, but we are not dating. Please help me to understand what she wants from me. And sometimes she will ask why I will marry. Uh, well, Frank, I'd advise that you kindly rewrite and send back. It's, it's a bit difficult trying to get what you mean. Good evening, caller. Your name and where you are calling from. Okay. Uh, I'm Wisdom and I'm calling from Tapwa. Hi, Wisdom. Okay. Please let's hear you. Okay. So, please, uh, I'm living with my, with my partner. And then, uh, from the house that I come from, we don't, I don't see my parents talk. They are the quiet side. They are the... No communication. See your mother sitting here, your father sitting here. Nothing. They don't really make any conversation. So I'm also with my partner, and then I feel comfortable not talking and study. And then it seems it's a very big problem, and then I don't know how to go about it. Okay. So, uh, Scoffrey, well, Reverend, I, I think thank you anyway. This is the sure same we'll thing we have mentioned it here. Yeah. That the environment yeah background and background so he i mean he's speaking buttressing that point that you made about how people pick from but where but they the came good from thing is that he knows that it's a problem so you at see, least he has assessed it exactly so, so that, is, that is that is the good part so he wants to know what to do now but if he had known this that this was going to impact him he would have started seeking for support yeah. even before okay. that was what i'm talking about the self-awareness mm -hmm. me what i saw so he has actually in gone into own. it and now, and now realizing. Because sometimes when you are within it, because commitment has set in, you have done this and that, even if it will not work, you are tempted to what? Hold on. Aha, yeah. mm. uh -huh. but communication, one of you will have to learn to break the ice some way, somehow. Mm -hmm. Because be motivated by how your father and your mother's own are not working yeah. and, and use that to make your own work. Scoffrey, there's another caller. Good evening, caller. Your name and where you're calling from. Yeah, good evening. Um, my name is Maxwell. Um, I'm calling from Nakuman. Hi, Maxwell. Um, could you please speak up a little bit more? Okay, okay can you hear me now? Maxwell is being romantic, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kindly speak up, speak up a little <laughs> bit. Okay, all right. Sure. Can you hear me now? Yes, please. We can hear you. Go on. Okay. All right. I want to ask um, the seniors there, um, how do you... Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Okay, how do you regain um, trust from, I mean, your girlfriend, um, you've realized that most of the things she said in the past um, were not true. You find out that she was lying about it, however, you still want to go out there. And you've talked to her about um, trust, how you can regain a trust however she's still repeating the same thing how do you go about it what's the best solution okay don't 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 go yet please stay on my producers will talk to you i have a, a book for you so that's one of a gift for you today kindly hold on and then you find out how you can pick it up okay oh, okay thank All you right, so let's try to help him <laughs> um. <laughs> he, well. he says he says he's still interested and so how should he go about it even uh, he's trying to at least uh, work it out so he gains the trust back. He it gets the trust. It's only through deliberate communication. Hmm. You need to force it. Not force it. The, you see, we just spoke about some of the things we need to do when we want to communicate. Mm -hmm. You can sit and talk about the matter. See, this people think that talking is all that goes into communication. No. The talking is just an aspect. Even God, we you sit for no crying, I'm a cracker, sir. It means I'm ready to answer me no more day. Ending come up, sweetie pie. Something is eating me up. Can we talk about it? Then you don't come from the point of blame. You see, communication is has a lot of technicality. Some of us, a lot of us don't know. Scoffy, there's another caller. Oh, Le let's okay. let's deal with that also because we need them. Good evening, caller. Your name and where you're calling from. 
Pam Zenzi. Okay, please let's hear you, Jenny. Thank you, Kasa. Yes, Kasa. Okay, no problem in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm calling from Zenzi. Okay. Hey, I'm Zenzi. Sorry, sorry, calling from Cape Coast. Okay, you're calling from okay. Cape Coast. Can I speak local? Like yes, this? yes, you can go ahead. Okay, okay. Master, I'm in there. All right. Hmm. Master, I'm in there. I'm a boyfriend, boy. Initially, no, I'm a ordinary friend, KK. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because he yeah, had a family friend, yeah. But later on, he had a relationship with a bit. But he uh, knows when no one has no problem. But I'm realizing that. I come on, you know, along the line, or talk to her, yes, or to the mum. If the more come out, my wife, no, you know, call, and I'm so no, I'm waiting for time, and you know, 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 well, yeah, that was it. Boom, now in Portugal, you know, the monk called now, and you young producers won't cast away to you. Or bet your corner of a now, sir. Young book, no call. I tell you, I tell you, it's another you know, monk. Well, so, um, this is a uh, bef before you deal with it, let me also add this one. So, Scoffrey, you take one, Jerry, you also take one. Who is taking the one from the phone? <laughs> 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 uh, what, what I would say is that, uh -huh. um, it's just like medical doctors who don't sit on show and profess some conclusions mm. um, this cannot be one of the situations you can throw in solutions yeah because yeah. we need to troubleshoot the underlining challenge Challenges. in the situation before we can profess anything mm. so you, yeah. you suggest that she probably she, she speaks, speaks to, to a, a counselor professional, professional yeah. counselor somewhere yes mm. well i'm sure she's listening so she knows what that means so this is coming from um pat pat from uh Kufridua. And uh, I think Pat is one of our usual texters, seeing the messages she's been sending all this while. So, please, what do you do when you hardly see your partner? You always try to see him or her, but there is always an excuse, and there is a total change, as you used to see each other almost every day before. So, Pat, Jerry will deal with your issue, but uh, I have a book for you. Okay, so you find a way uh, to, to get this book from ETV Studios. Thank you. There's also right. a last caller. Let's, let's deal with that, and then we, we know we are done. Um, good evening, caller. Your name and where you are calling from? Good evening. My name is Ramon. I'm speaking from Ashama. Hi. Please let's hear you. Kindly speak up a little bit more. Okay. I've been what dating, I've uh, been in what? relationship with this lady for about 10 years now. Okay. <laughs> Uh, currently, I'm preparing to do the perform the marriage rites. Okay. For the past year, I've realized that she cheated on me with one particular guy, which I got to know uh, before I before she even accepted the fact that she actually cheated with the guy. I heard it from town severally from friends of the guy. When I came to ask her on several occasions, she denied it. But recently, the guy happens to be posted to my facility, which we are working together in the same facility. So I went to the back to the house. I told her this same guy that I've been suspecting them and I've heard several from town that they are dating or they've slept together, have been posted to my facility. And in case anything happens, we happen to do anything together, and then there is any, any sickness that comes out from me that she will be held responsible. That was why she was able to confirm to me that she has actually slept with the guy for three consecutive times. I have lost the trust I have for her. How do I regain the trust for her, please? Okay, so you are ready to, 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 to give back the trust and, and, and go on, right? Yes, please. But right. how do so, I regain the trust? It's, all right, so it's, making, it's making me not to trust her anymore. And okay. wherever she is, I, I doubt the loyalty. So how do I regain the trust, please? All right, so um, please stay on. The producers will speak with you at the back. However, Jerry and Scofrey will try to deal with your situation. Thank you very much. Hmm. Um, you have a lot to do with the two Yes, yes. I, I think that, once again, as Scoffrey said earlier, these are not things we can just sit on yeah. site and say, yeah. do A, B, C, D. Um, they will need a professional help. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a serious issue. And so they will need a, prof a, a professional help. Mm -hmm. And then I also think that if they are Christians, uh, the man should pray. Mm -hmm. uh, from what he said, 
it looks like he's still interested. Mm -hmm. And so that is a good point, but they will still need help. Yeah. 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 So uh, if they wouldn't mind, um, they should talk to a professional, or if they want to talk to Scoffrey, they can do that. Mm -hmm. If they are Christians and they are in a church, uh, they should also see their pastor and talk to him. And talk to the pastor. I think it will help. Well, this is all time can permit us. I think it will be good that we come back uh, next week to have the same discussion. Because sure. still, uh, it looks like there's a lot that we haven't even touched on. Yeah. So let's, let's leave it to the producers at the back. We'll, we'll try as much as possible to come away with a part two of this particular yeah, yeah, discussion. Before we go off, um, my church is celebrating five years. Five years. Yes. Congratulations. Uh, uh, coming Sunday. Coming Sunday. Yeah, we are hosting uh, Prophet Kofiudu. Oh, T.A. T.A. So, uh, That's interesting. Yes, yes. So mm -hmm. um, I, I wish to invite... All, um, all of us, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. To join I, I, should, I should come and lead praises. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Dr. Official... I suspect uh, coffee, uh, the way he's laughing. Oh, I don't like know, that. Just the next time you laugh like I'm, that, I'll I'm, suck I'm you. I'm <laughs> just, I want to formally uh, congratulate my, my brother for pursuing this journey. Uh, mm. We all have our viewers calling and for him to go this far in five years. Five years is no joke, eh? I say congratulations for bearing the cross. Thank it's, you, sir. It's, Thank I you appreciate it. Well, it's so you heard it from Jerry, you heard it from Scoffrey. There's more, actually, and we, we hope to come back next week with another episode, uh, like a part two of this. So thank you so much for being part of this evening. Please stay safe. The COVID is real. It's still taking people. We are thankful that it's, it's the numbers are, you know, uh, going down. But it's not enough. Please, yeah. let's keep the protocols and let's uh, stay safe. Let's help each other. It's very important. Till next week, please stay safe.